Show with Declan Meehan in association with Home Store Interiors, Quinsborough Road, Bray for all your home improvement needs. Right then, our number here, 87 11 103 is our number. When uh, Minister of State was appointed at Simon Harris during the summertime he was in, he was telling me that he's um, in charge of the Office of Public Works, which uh, covers those uh, government buildings. And I asked him about the lights being left on and did they ever uh, change their energy providers uh, to get better deals and things like that. And he said it was all in hand and uh, they were conscious of it and going to be doing something about it. But yesterday... Uh, uh, here, uh, in a special report in the Irish Independent, there was a headline, Outdated Public Buildings Cost €200 million Euro a Year in Wasted Energy. A story by Paul Melia, and quoted in that was Norman Crowley from uh, Crowley uh, Carbon in Enniskerry. We spoke to Norman before because he's done uh, some energy-saving uh, jobs in the Middle East. He's back on the line. Norman, good morning to you. Good morning, Declan. Good morning. Nice to talk to you again. So, um, do you do work in Ireland? at all? We do, yeah. About 10% of our business is in Ireland. Yeah. And, and anything uh, to do with the government at all? No, we don't. We have a policy that we don't do work with government here or anywhere else. Um, so it's not uh, it's not what we do. But we decided you know, Ireland is a second from the bottom in its rankings in terms of resolving climate change uh, at the moment in Europe. And so we just think it's a disgrace how little is being done by government here. And so what we did, the background to the report in The Independent was we commissioned a piece of analysis uh, on the numbers. And the numbers basically say that Ireland's energy bill, Ireland's government's energy bill, is $600 million a year. And according to their own reports, they can save uh, $200 million off that bill by just installing more energy-efficient technology. And that plan was first announced in 2009, and here we are in 2015, and hardly nothing has been done. And, and so, mm, yeah. Why do you think that it, is? Um, I, I think the current government believe that, you know, that I don't think their climate change is number one on their agenda. I don't think it's even in the top 100 things on their agenda. Um, and I think they also think that this kind of thing costs a lot of money and they don't have money to do this, but that's not true. You know, a lot of this stuff can be done with very little money and also money that they would need to do it is easily available from Europe. Euro the European government has many, many funds that can be used for this kind of thing. So a lot of it is just a lack of focus. And so what, what we did was we commissioned a set of numbers and what the numbers tell us is that between fines that Ireland is going to get fined in 2020 for missing its targets, um, between the 200 million that it could be saving on its own buildings, between the VAT take that the government would get in from energy efficiency projects in the private sector, the government is missing out on 630 million a year in revenue. Now, just to put that in perspective, the, the government is hoping to get 315 million from water charges this year and another 300 million from property tax. Um, and, and that's it. it. That's it. It that, adds up. Yeah. That that's it. It adds up. And the, and yet we're missing our targets on climate change. We're getting fined for that. And on the other hand, we're getting people who can't afford to pay water charges to pay water charges. So it's a it's a shocking disgrace and and a sign of real lack of ability to govern and and put the priorities first. You know. Yes, we have the Taoiseach uh, taking us from, uh, or he goes over to New York, uh, to the United Nations, he talks about it, and then he zoomed over uh, to Brussels to plead a special case for Ireland uh, as regards <laughs> climate change. So uh, what do you make of that? It's a disgrace. It's it's real. You know, I, I don't say one class of government over another here, but that is just a complete disgrace. To be on one side saying we're going to do something about it and for dispensations for not doing it and on top of that missing all the targets we have and showing no effort in, in resolving it. And you know, if you look at what could happen here and this is from the government its own reports, not something that we made up, right, could be created um, you, by deploying energy efficiency in Ireland. 200 million of the government's bill, another couple of hundred million in, in increased tax take, um, making Ireland um, a, a centre of expertise in the whole green economy. Everybody wins. Absolutely nobody loses. And yet we've been talking about it since 2009. 
One of the shocking things that we discovered, um, which was in the independent report yesterday, is that the HSE has an energy bill of 100 million a year. It announced that it could take 30% off it, which is 33 million. It announced that back in 2009, right? And a spokesman yesterday confirmed that they won't have a plan to resolve this issue until next year. So they announced something back in 2009 that they could save 33 million and they don't even have a plan until 2015. I mean, if that doesn't sum up the, the crazy situation we're in, nothing does. Yes, it's Norman Crowley from Crowley Carbon. I thought I'd lost the clip of Simon Harris, uh, but I've just found it, so I'll play a piece of that, of what he said. Now, he was newly appointed. He's only a wet day, really, in the job. But here's uh, what he had to say back in uh, August, on the 19th of August. And a lot of people often comment about government buildings leave the lights on all night. I mean, is that in your remit to save us some money? No, it is, actually. And the OPW have been doing a massive amount of work. Even you'll see this in Leinster House and any of my colleagues in in Leinster House will tell you this when they're talking to you as well. You go into Leinster House now, they've put lights on sensors that automatically turn off. They're running massive and not just in Leinster House, right across all government departments, you know, turn off your computer when you leave the office campaigns. And we're actually, the energy bill, I don't have the specific figure with me here, but is dramatically actually flipped. But there's more we need to do. Um, we had, and let's be blunt about this, we had a policy of decentralisation in this country that turned out to be an absolute sham. Um, and my own department of the OPW has been affected by it as well, where you have so many different offices. So you have great plans to move a department, Killarney or Wexford. There's no point. I'm not picking any but you location. don't have buildings to go to rent, is it? Yeah, well, 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 what happens then is you, you you buy the building or you build the building or you sign a lease and then you find out, well, only half the staff have moved. So now all of a sudden you've got staff spread in maybe Dublin and staff spread in another county as well. So what we're trying to do is wind down an awful lot of leases as well. We're looking at trying to move people into spaces and um, we're looking at having a rule of one person, one desk. So you might be based across different places, but if you come to a, a one building, you hot desk, you share a desk with somebody else. Huge amount of work that needs to be done. An awful lot of that terrible phrase, legacy issues, where we engaged in massive, uh, bring into big leases during Celt- at Celtic Tiger prices. Trying to get out of them is, is, is a huge body of work we're engaged in as well. Yeah, Minister of State Simon Harris. Norman Crowley from Crowley Carbon, is that a part of an ex- um, explanation of the whole situation? I find that just very funny, you know. Like, uh, he's talking about Linster House and how the lights go off. Like, the biggest energy cost that the state has is heating and cooling, right? And most of that cost is in hospitals and prisons. If you go to many of the hospitals um, today, I know two specifically in Dublin, they're heated with steam in the same way they were heated with steam in the 1800s. And there's steam leaking out everywhere. Um, The cost of that is phenomenal. Like, he's talking about a handful of lights inside the Leinster House. Meanwhile, the hospitals, and they can't even control the heat in the hospitals, so rooms are too hot, other rooms are too cold, just likewise in prison. So he's not, you know, it just shows that he doesn't know where the issue is, really. Um, if he's talking well, about to be fair, I did ask him specifically about uh, the, the lights, so we probably just yeah, answered that. Yeah. My suggestion, since Simon is a, is a local politician to us in Enniscary, and since since we're in the energy efficiency businesses, um, and I have an open invitation to him to come up and let us let us show him the numbers that that we've got, and and then maybe you can ask him, you know, what what he he would do about it because. You know, I'm not highlighting this because we're in the energy efficiency business and it would lead more work to us. As I said, we don't work with governments. I just think, you know, we all live in this country. There are people there being charged at the moment for things like water charges. They're just they're wondering how they're going to pay them. And meanwhile, we're wasting all this energy and then getting fined for the privilege, you know. So it, it's just something that needs to be resolved, you know. Mm. Um, of course, uh, recently the uh, National Roads Authority said there was an increase in traffic, yet at the same time, with uh, the price of fuel coming down, the price of public transport goes up. So there's there's a few things that are going on. Indeed. However, Indeed. we have uh, uh, somebody who has a question mark on all this climate change here. Owen says, resolving climate change, uh, wall-to-wall delusion in the European media, primarily on how even a total cut in emitting carbon by all governments globally Globally, and not just in the EU, EU will not influence the climate. I'd like to see the science behind what he's just said. Um, I mean, I think what everybody needs to do in terms of climate is do their bit, you know, and I think humans carry a huge responsibility, not just for their own energy bills and leading from the front, but also policy um, for everybody else as well. And 
the reason we promote energy efficiency is, you know, some people don't like wind turbines and some people don't like this and that, but nobody can argue with energy efficiency. If, if you're wasting something at the moment, then it makes perfect sense to stop wasting it. Why wouldn't you do that? You know, and it's, it's a financial win and then a climate win at the same time. So, um, you know, in terms of, I think it's incumbent on all of us to do as much as we can at the moment. I, I think the average person doesn't realize how much of a crisis climate is and is going to be, not just in foreign parts, but in Ireland as well in the next five to ten years. Right. Uh, but be fair to yourself, you came in on uh, the basis that about 600 million euro was being wasted in a yes. needless cost of energy and then the fines on top of that, whereas the cost of the water and the property tax added up exactly on the other side of the balance sheet to exactly. that cost. Right. Very good. Uh, thanks very much for your time, Norman. And how is Biz Absolutely. otherwise internationally? You're doing okay? It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. We're lucky enough at the moment that we have we have almost too many clients, and so um, <laughs> it's it's great. Yeah, it yeah, turns yeah. out that energy efficiency is is certainly what people are after. You know? Yeah, you're not doing any work in guitar for the 2022 World Cup or anything like that, are you? No, no, no. We do an awful lot of work in Dubai, um, and then an awful lot of work in Europe. Um, so uh, that that whole thing in Qatar is still a bit of a mystery to me. I have to say as to why that's happening. Right, okay. We better not ask too many questions, otherwise we'll be no, in court. That's a, okay. That's a different story, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for your time. Good morning. Thank you. That's thanks, a normal thanks. Crowley there from Enniskerry from uh, Crowley Carbon. Uh, that company says, well, there's uh, efficiency that could be made on energy, which means that we wouldn't have to pay for the water charges. But the way the council vote has gone yesterday here in the county, we don't want to know anything about Irish water. We're the independent republic. All right, it's 87 103 the Morning Show on East Coast FM with Declan Meehan. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Check out.